civilization, all of you know what I mean when I say a Subway sandwich shop, an American chain that started in the chain, went all the way across the Pacific Ocean, and now you have them every 100 meters. I know you do. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> I walked into one in the Midwest uh, several weeks ago, and uh, uh, there's a man ahead of me. He's having his sandwich made for him. And the sandwich constructioner on this day, the man building the sandwich behind the counter, is quite a study. He's got this intense haircut. It goes all over the place. It looks scary. He's got a bunch of earrings in one ear. He's got this intricate beard. It's got all this shit cut into it. And he's a big motherfucker. He's thick. He's hard. He's vascular. He's tough. He's got a lot of beef swinging from his bones. And from his t-shirt sleeves all the way down to his wrist are tattoos. He's fully sleeved on both arms. Not one bit of color in any of these tattoos. It's all black ink. He's pure. And there's no solid patterns in the black ink. It's all that kind of see-through, kind of spray painted on like wizards and demons. And the kind of shit you see on a van from the 1970s. <laughs> Basically, a man who swings back at cops and laughs about it. A man who can go go into any country and go into a hardware store with a shopping cart and emerge with a bunch of stuff in it, take it to your guest room, and by dinner time, he will have built a crystal meth lab. <laughs> He's one of those guys. He is trouble on two feet. And so I look at him like, whoa, what the fuck is he doing working at a subway? And to hear him have sandwich talk with the man ahead of me, it was hilarious. You see this big, scary guy. Okay, sir, we have... Uh Five kinds of bread. We have wheat berry. A lot of people like that. <laughs> Would you like the pimento rye? <laughs> it's like having someone from the SS make you a, a, a banana split. <laughs> Would you like the whipped cream? <laughs> Is it whipped cream? <laughs> Look at this guy just black out for the fucking death skull. <laughs> He's talking about cherries to me. Oh, this is just precious. <laughs> and so he eventually builds this sandwich for the man and shoves it down to the cash register. And he's right about to take my order when the cell phone sitting to his left on the counter rings. And he looks at me, kind of nods like, I have to get this. And I'm like, no problem. And he picks up the phone. Hello? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Bring her here now. <laughs> you just put her in the fucking car and you just bring her. No, you don't talk to her. You don't tell her where she's going. You don't say a fucking word. You just put her in the fucking car. You bring her here right fucking now. No, oh, I'll be here. Now. Can I help you, sir? <laughs> I was like, me? <laughs> Yeah, you. Uh, um, I, um, I, would, I, I said, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to get a, 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 tuna, a, a, a tuna fish uh, sub uh, one, one foot long. And as far as the bread, I'm like, you're probably interested in what that phone call was about. <laughs> yeah, I, well, yes. I, I mean, I'm, I'm curious about, well, a lot of things, actually. I'll watch any good documentary if it's done well, you know, even if it's about the history of yarn, I mean, I'll watch it. But uh, yes, if you want to do detail what the, the minutes of your uh, <clears throat> intense conversation, I, um, all ears, I, yes, good. Um, please, go ahead. That was my wife. Uh, our daughter is being disruptive in class, and uh, she was in a fight on the school bus a few minutes ago. And so uh, I've decided we're going to send her back from, uh, to where she comes from. And so I'm having my wife bring her here so I can tell her right to her face. And I said, aha, thinking, ah, we're bringing in a little moment for humor and to kind of take the pressure off the situation. I said, aha, the daughter from hell? Hmm? He went, no, state care. Uh, we've been kind of uh, putting her back with the state when we can't handle her. She uh, fights us. She's cutting herself up. We can't control her. And uh, this is the last straw. I mean, I can't take her fighting people at school and like you know, punching people on the school bus. She's like uh, aggressive towards teachers. She's aggressive towards us. And it's quite obvious we can't handle her. So we're going to have to put her back in state care. And so I'm, my wife is bringing you over now. So <clears throat> what can I get for you? And I was like, uh... Damn, man. And I'm thinking, why don't you just go out and take a break? I'll go back there. I'll do your job for a while. 
because I'm an overachiever like a motherfucker on minimum wage jobs. I can kick that shit's ass, man, because that's the world I come from. I come from the minimum wage working world, and believe me, before I'm 60, it's where I'm going back to. Because you know, this shit isn't going to last that much longer. Anyway, and so uh, I, 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 I started having sandwich talk with the man. You know, I'm like, okay, well... Um, well, let's let's go with a provolone on the on the tuna. Like, yeah, people like provolone. Like, I, I know, I know. Let's talk about the cheese and not think about your daughter and this awful thing that you're going to have to do a few minutes from now. And he made me my sandwich and he shoved it down to the cashier and he took the next order. And I've been thinking about that guy a lot because uh, that's a lot to wrestle to the ground. He's got house payments, he's got car payments. He's keeping at least himself and his daughter and his wife alive with food. And every single day, this guy wakes up at the crack of dawn with this obligation. He has to get through the day with that minimum wage uh, salary, with a Subway sandwich store salary. And by midweek, that paycheck is looking awful small. And he's got to strategize. I've got 150 bucks and five days. I've got to get gasoline. I've got to keep the electricity on. I've got to make sure we have water. I've got to make sure the kid is fed. I'm fed. The wife is fed. I've got to make sure I get my car on the road and get to work on time. How do I do this? And every single day is like level 10 of one of those Xbox games where you're being chased by three armies, five dragons, the crypts, the bloods, the sharks, and the jets. And you're like, fuck! Fuck! Ah! Whoa! Fuck. That's every day for this guy, just trying to figure out how not to lose his mind. And I'm not saying, and you think you got worry? I'm just saying that everyone has a complex life. And so it's very hard for me to paint with that big, broad brush when you see just what, what people go through on a daily basis. And I've been thinking about that guy, wondering how many sandwiches he's made since I met that guy. And a few days after that, I was at 